the oh, did you want to talk about Pinkley Smooth? Smooth? Yeah, like the oh, going to the dude. Pinkley Smooth shows. Like, how about? Did like, you go to any of them? I went to one. I went to one. What are you, like one. Thirteen at the time. No, so this is actually a funny story. I don't know that I've actually told this one. This is a fun story. So before I was in the band, um, in high school, I had gotten in trouble with my parents and the school for drinking. So I. <laughs> Joined wait, AA. wait, you got in trouble in high school for drinking? You yeah. had to, wait, you had to go to AA I had to go to in AA high school because it was like a problem. It was a problem. I showed, like up, a problem. I showed up like for first period fucking hammered still. So You I, must be an alcoholic. What are you, fucking 15? Uh, yeah, it must have been, I was probably okay. 16. Okay. But yeah, so I, I had, you know, long story long, it seemed like I had a problem, so I went into AA. For a year, I stayed completely sober to the point where I was actually opening up the doors at my regular AA meeting and being one of the sponsors and sponsoring people for a year at a 16, at, as a 16-year-old kid. Cool. Yeah. So, you know, my life, my life philosophy has changed quite a bit since I was 16 years old. However, one of the first times that I drank again was at a, pink, at a Pinkley Smooth show at the Liquid... Uh, what the fuck? Liquid was Lounge. Liquid, Liquid Lounge. I... I got snuck in through the back by Brian and Matt oh my and God. Jimmy. Do you know how much cocaine we had? <laughs> like, do, you so, know, do you know how much you know drugs we were doing? You know we were like a was child just, then. We were doing like adult stuff. I, yeah. <laughs> right? And I was a kid. And I just like, yeah. came in the back. So I was a fan still, like watching the guys in the garage. They had just finished doing the, sec- the, the second heartbeat uh, version with Brian Ping playing the solo on. This was the first time he, like, they had already done Second Heartbeat before, and then now it was with Brian in the band, and he was, like... Do you remember when they had the 10-minute version of the song? Yeah. Where it just went on and on and on? Sh- that's the version that Brian showed me in his white pickup. I yep. sat in the car, and he's like, dude, check this out. And I was like, cool. And we sat in the back of the Liquid Lounge, and before the Pinkly Smooth show started, and then I came in there, I was hanging out, I... Didn't know Matt that well. I knew Brian and Jimmy a little better because of the relationship to my older brother. And then I was in there and Matt looks over at me. He's like, yeah, man, hey, you want a beer? And I was like, been sober for a year. I'll have a beer. <laughs> so he had a pitcher. He poured me a beer and we fucking hung out. And look out at you like, now. You have this whole show. <laughs> revolved around drinking. <laughs> I think you're a genius. I don't know about genius. I still have to like make art for a living. You can just like hang out with your friends and get hammered. <laughs> Takes a special breed. Apparently. Mm. No, but I just remember that show specifically. Like, it, for whatever reason, it took uh, okay, the keyboard so, so, so long to get on. So hold up, hold up. Okay, go ahead. So people don't understand what Pinkley Smooth looked like, but their stage <laughs> costumes were like another thing. <laughs> Sinister- so this, Brian wasn't playing that night. Brian wasn't in the band at this time. Sinister this Gates Jimmy used to come out guys. with the clown shoes. And then the drummer was shredder and he was had cheese graters all oh, no, over him. Brian was playing that night. Yep. Sorry. He had the he had the clown shoes. Yeah. And then the rev would come out in a kimono with a Dracula hood. <laughs> hair and straight up. The, his hair was straight up, maybe maybe like two or three feet high. Right head, right? dude. Yep. <laughs> in a purple kimono with a Dracula hood on, right? And they would start playing their combination of cowboy goblin jazz or whatever yeah. the fuck they styled it at the time. And it was so weird. And so crazy and so, so funny, awesome. and I couldn't get enough. And they played that McFly song, and they played the Mesmer song, and so they played nasal. McFly and I knew every song over and over during the sound change. Okay, the so because like uh, Jimmy's keyboard wasn't working, so they just like sat out there for like you're gonna have to like cut the whole thing out of your room. why. Fucking, they want Nobody to cares show. that Jimmy played a song for fucking like four. No, he played it for forty-five minutes. The same song. What do you? Who do you like, think? Who do you think this show is for? You think it's for other people? This is for me. Okay. <laughs> I feel bad for your fans sometimes. 